In 1804, a corps of men led by William Clark and Meriwether Lewis pulled their way up the Missouri River into a country teeming with wildlife. Bison, elk, moose, bighorn sheep, mountain goats, pronghorns, white-tailed deer, grizzly bears, black bears, and a new deer that was recently discovered by Lewis and Clark, the mule deer of the West. Hi, I'm Ron Spomer, and this is Winchester Legends. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Sarovsky Optic. She Safari, clothing for her expedition. Otis Technologies, the most advanced gun care system in the world. Walker's Game Ear, hear like you've never heard before and protect yourself from the harmful effects of muzzle blast. Legends begin here, and sometimes history can be as grand as the legend. They call it Big Sky Country, and maybe the sky is just a little bigger out here. Almost a hundred years ago, a homesteader came looking for a place under that big sky. And since then, Upper Canyon Ranch has remained in the same family. Located in southwest Montana near the town of Alder, Upper Canyon offers access to a million acres of the Beaverhead National Forest and the moose, elk, and deer found there. This is where noted outdoor writer and photographer Ron Spomer has chosen to hunt mule deer. Spomer's carried his rifle and his camera around the world, and he knows good deer country when he sees it. We're here in southern Montana at Upper Canyon Ranch where they've been managing for good mule deer numbers for several years now, and it's classic habitat. You've got beautiful foothills, canyons, prairies, combined with the mountains rising up behind it, just about everything a mule deer could need. We're going to see just how well they're doing and what kind of mule deer bucks we can find. Guiding Spomer is Lane Wilcox, the genuine thing when it comes to cowboys. Wilcox took the knowledge of the mountains that he learned on horseback and now applies it to mule deer. Well, this is a real deal up here. They still run about 10,000 head of cows up here in the summer. That's what I used to cowboy up here and got tired of looking at a cow and seeing all these big muleys all the time, so I decided to switch jobs. I love it up here. You know, when the white man really moved into this country of Montana, it was mostly well, there are really two things drawing them, grass for their cattle and minerals for mining. And when they moved in to mine those minerals, they had to find some food, and that food, of course, was the natural resources, and the mule deer became an important part of the diet. They were shot in huge numbers to supply the demand for meat. As a result, of course, unregulated hunting results in a depletion of the resource, and the mule deer population plummeted. After the country got settled and there were sheep and cattle and people had plenty to eat, the hunting pressure dropped off and the mule deer came back. And these were the good old days of mule deer hunting in which almost anyone could go out and get a huge mule deer buck or even two. That was the peak of mule deer hunting in North America. After that there was a decline, partly because of overhunting, but I think, and the biologists seem to be coming to this conclusion, it was more a result of the habitat change. The brush species that mule deer need to survive the winter were depleted, degenerative, and it just wasn't optimum condition. But mule deer are gradually coming back into good numbers now, 
and we're going to have the opportunity to see just how well they're doing here in these foothills of the Rocky Mountains in Montana. Yep, head on an inch yep. to the left. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Perfection. What kind of earplugs are those? Oh, these are those, uh, they're not just earplugs, they're hearing amplifiers. A lot of guys like them on uh, stand hunting in the eastern woods, especially when whitetails are tippy-toeing through and you want to tell the difference between a whitetail and a squirrel and whatnot, pick up any little subtle sounds. But I love them on the uh, range because they cut out the loud decibels. So I want to hear the bang of the rifle and hurt my ears. So it's both an ear protector and sort of a hearing aid enhancer. Get on, pointage. <laughs> That'll work. Okay, we're there, we're ready to go. This won't be a road hunt, and this is the last truck ride Spomer will have for some time to come. What's on the back side of that? More mountains. Is that getting fairly far from the roads where any average guys would want to go to? If we expend the extra effort, we're going to get into the big bucks? Is that the hiding hole? That's worth it. You think it's worth it? It's worth it. All right, if you say it's worth it, I'm game. But if there's nothing up there, you're carrying me back. <laughs> Tell you what, the toughest game to spot is a bedded mule deer, especially in dry country like this. They've just got that same gray as the rocks. Somehow, you know, the background dirt, even in that sparse yellow grass, you'd think they'd stand out because they're such a dark gray, but golly, they're hard to pick out. Oh, hey, hey, guess what I've got? <laughs> a rabbit brush. <laughs> Looks just like a deer. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that's a well that's Super. a two by three. Not every day you see a two by three, but those are beautiful forks on mm -hmm. that side. Look how deep that one is. Now if he had another one like that behind it, oh my gosh. He's looking at something else over there. All right. Three by two, I think we can do better. And yeah, next year he ought to be a lot bigger. We better get moving, Ron. We got a storm coming in, it looks like. What? Oh, wow. Where did it that come from? It Man, is black. <laughs> that came up in a hurry. That yeah, did. That's some serious weather coming in. Look, you can see the snow coming out of it already, unless it's rain. Oh, man, I don't need rain. I, <laughs> I guess I'm getting Gore-Tex on, so it's all right. But, gee whiz, let's get up there then. Let's try to it. another fork horn. Yep. Boy, it's funny how small that forked horn is, and you go to this one up here on the hill, and he just is triple the size. Yeah. Antlers. That's what a, either another year of living or good genetics yeah. will do for you. Yeah. Look at him work that dough. Yeah, and they just blend in right over. So perfect. Yeah, they sure. They do. don't move. You don't see them. They've got to have good optics up here. Yeah, that's the key for me older hunting is being able to see long. You can walk yourself to death if you just use your eyes. And then you jump so many of them that you don't see. Yeah. Do you find, Lane, that they bed under rim rock a lot? Yeah, that's right where that deer is, is right where they like to hang out. I've hunted a lot of times mm -hmm. in country with a, a lot of rim rock like that, and it seems the hotter the day, the more likely I'm going to find bucks bedded right up against that hot stuff, out in the sun all day. I don't understand that, but it just seems to be one of their preferred bedding areas, especially bucks. These mule deer aren't ready for bed yet, as we will see. Winchester Legends is brought to you by She Safari, clothing for her expedition. Night and Hail Game Calls, 
bring them closer. Winchester rifles and shotguns, the guns that work. Walker's Game Ear, hear like you've never heard before and protect yourself from the harmful effects of muzzle blast. In Montana, this is considered a crisp fall day. This will pretty much put the bears in hibernation, and I think I'm going to join them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it went from 40 to 20 real quick. Gosh, yeah. Now let's get this job over with. Uh, let's let's go, get go get him. Get downwind and then go right back yeah, into it. Yeah, oh, just... going to be terrible looking into that snow, though. <laughs> get out of my glasses. Right there, Lane. Down low, under, just under the tree. Okay, I see him. There's three, four. Yeah, I One, see two, him. Three, four. Yeah, I see more too to the left, I think. Boy, there's got to be a buck hanging in there somewhere. Two darn mini does. All right, so we know where they are. All we've got to do is get in range just, and hope yeah. they find a buck. So we go up here, use the snow when it's thick to cruise yeah. over, get on their slope. And ease in on them, just keep looking, checking. That damn buck could be anywhere in there. Yeah. If there's one in there. So they just go slow so they don't see us. Toughest deer to hunt. I don't care what anybody says. I'd <laughs> rather hunt a whitetail any day. <laughs> yeah. Whitetails are slam dunks compared to these things. I see no indication there is a male of the species. There's some down in the bottom lane. <laughs> yeah, that's probably just the youngsters. Doesn't look real bulky in the body. Yeah, we got this buck up here. Deep forks, wider than his ears. Probably 24, 25 inch spread. Go get him. We'll go up there so a bit of a wash right here. Keep below that little rise. Yeah, we're gonna be right on him. I know, it's gonna be 100 yards. <laughs> Well, it's probably about lunchtime. Our morning hunt's probably about over. I thought it was lunch time an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. What are we going to do this afternoon? Oh, hold on. There's some movement up here. I think it's a doe, but let's. Yeah, let's take a peek. That's a buck. That's a, oh boy, that's, that's a nice buck. That's a nice buck. Yeah, he just went over that right there. Yeah, let's Did you see him? He's a dandy. Look, look, look. We can come right up here. Here, why don't you drop your pack? I'll try to get a little closer. There he is. There he is. He's coming out. Yeah. 
job. Oh, Good job. Look at that. Oh, he's a beautiful buck. Yeah, that's a dandy. It's a nice buck for oh, this country. That's a that is beautiful, good sir. Job. I didn't expect to find one that beautiful. That's outstanding buck. That's one of the nicest mule deer buck I've ever taken. That's just outstanding. Well, let's go check oh. him out. Look at the antlers protruding out of the grass. That yeah. looks nice. Boy, he ain't hard to find, is he? Uh, <laughs> oh, look at that antler sticking oh, boy. up. Oh, that's, that's a nice deer. Outstanding buck. Dandy. Oh. Well, look at that animal. on him. Oh, that is God. a Montana mule here, yes, my friend. Yes, it is, boy. Oh, let me feel that horn. Mm. Oh, look at that. Look at the purling on him. Solid mass on that guy. Look at how thick the tines are. Oh, this is just a fine Montana mm. mule there. Look at the purling mm. down there on those antlers. And that tine, <laughs> there's got a, that's about an eight inch fork. Seven to eight inch forks. That's pretty good for a mule deer mm. in this day and age. Outstanding. Yeah, he's a beauty, that's for sure. I bet you had him pegged down. You saw him all summer, yeah, didn't well, you? Well, actually, no. No? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Right out in the open, he's walking. Yeah, I it's know. The rut. off of here, there's no... It's the rut, man. He's, well, he's just preoccupied with those. those. All we had to do was walk yeah. out of that creek, sneak up here, and bump him. Came right he's out of that bottom. Here. He didn't even care. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've what? been looking. I got a tag yet, too, to fill, maybe. If I, our, well, our works. clients are leaving, and... Yeah, I got That's right. You, can we go? Can you I go betcha. with you? You bet. If you got the time, let's the do it. The boss will let you do that? Yeah. Hey, I'll play wood. guide. Hey. <laughs> Take him. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Sarovsky Optic. Night and Hail Game Calls. Bring them closer. Otis Technologies, the most advanced gun care system in the world. Winchester Rifles and Shotguns, the guns that work. Happy birthday, 30-06. This venerable old cartridge has been around for 100 years, and it's better than ever. With today's new bullets and new powders, the 30 6 is still the most versatile cartridge for all North American big game. For deer and other thin-skinned game, you can go with something like the ballistic silver tip designed to open quickly and put a lot of power on the animal. For a larger game like elk or moose, the new XP3 bullet is designed for deep penetration. These are the cartridges and bullets that will get the job done. Here's a chance for Ron Spomer to reverse rolls with his guide, Lane Wilcox, as they stalk a second okay. Montana mule deer. Oh, hey, that's a buck. Is there a buck with him? Get, get, get. Okay. appreciated the opportunity to play guide for a change. Well, it was fun being the hunter for once. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Let's go see him. Boy, that was quite a shot, Lane. Oh, I was man. impressed, man. Well, this rifle did the trick. And I sure like the scope yeah, on here. Uh, that rifle's been pretty good for me. It just dropped that deer for God, you like nice the old ton of bricks they always talk about. All right. To stalk deer in the rut is one of the great natural privileges of hunting. What makes it even better is being able to share the experience with someone as passionate about the game as you are. Come on, good job. <laughs> good job. That is beautiful, sir. Hey, Dad. 
It's heavy, isn't it? Yeah, but they drag nice downhill. I like that part. Hunting the country of the big sky the right way isn't always easy, just as the weather isn't always temperate or forgiving. It's true country, though with real people and real deer. Spomer's decision to hunt here is one he's not likely to regret. And even years from now, it's a hunt he's not likely to forget. And that's what legends are made of. For more information about Winchester ammunition, log on to winchester.com.